This is a guide for setting up a simple copy backup with Data Backup 3, which is a great backup option for copying files from one drive to another drive, making a simple and easy backup of your files. To get started, you should create a new backup set by clicking on File, New Backup Set. Under Backup Options, you can see the four different backup types. Choose Simple Copy. Next, you will have to choose the sources for your backup. Click on the plus to add sources. Then choose the source or sources that you want to back up. You could choose folders like your documents or movies folder. For this example, I'm just going to choose the entire Macintosh hard drive volume and then click open. Now you must choose your backup destination. For destination type, make sure to choose volume. With simple copy backups, it's best to designate a specific folder as the destination and not an entire volume. This is to avoid permissions issues with the volume and makes it easier to differentiate other files on this volume that are not part of your backup. So before we add the destination folder, let's go to the volume that you intend to use for your backup. Then let's add a folder to this backup. You should use a name for the folder that will help remind you that it is for your backups. I'm going to name mine Macintosh HD Simple Copy Backup. Now go back to Data Backup and under Destination, click Select and then choose the folder that you just created and click Open. Under Destination Options, you should uncheck Create New Folders. Missing items refers to the files that are found on the destination drive but are no longer on your source. You can choose to leave, delete, or move to trash. I'm going to choose delete. You shouldn't use the compress files option when backing up to a volume, but you could use the encrypt option for added security if you'd like. At this point, your backup set is complete. You can set it up on a schedule by clicking on the schedule button. We will go over more details on scheduling in another guide or you can click on Start Now. Once you click on Start Now, you will get a reminder to save your backup set. Make sure to save it so that your settings are not lost. After you name the backup set and save it, your backup will start running and the files will begin to transfer. This completes our guide for setting up a simple copy backup in Data Backup 3. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any additional questions, visit our website or contact our support team.